All right, how to increase flexibility and mobility while strength training. So increasing flexibility is currently a goal of mine and in this video I'm going to show you my approach, exactly what I do in order to achieve this goal. I'm also going to debunk the myth that weight training leads to inflexibility. So before I show you what I actually do to increase my flexibility, I want to explain the difference between flexibility and mobility. Most people use it as interchangeable words, but they are very different. Flexibility is, well, let me demonstrate it. This, I have the flexibility to be in this position, right? My hamstrings are lengthened and I can be in this position, no problem. So flexibility is there. Now mobility would be if I could be in this position and even move my legs. So I'm like kind of mobile in this position. And let me try, but there's no way I can do it. Again, I have the flexibility. I can go up here, but the moving now, the mobility, no chance. That's the difference, all right? Some people like me have, well, solid flexibility, but if there's not enough mobility, you cannot move in this position. So I titled this video, how to increase flexibility while weight training, because it's a common myth that well, you cannot be flexible when you weight train, right? In fact, most people think if you do weight training that you lose flexibility. Now, this is true when you do biceps curls just like that, right? Not going through the full range of motion. When you skip the warm up, when you not stretch, yeah, then that's the case. However, if you do it properly, full range of motion, when you do a proper warm up, when you stretch, then you can not only keep the current flexibility and mobility, but even increase it. I'm going to show you how. That would be the first part, the warm up. Because if you go into the gym and start with the first exercise without a proper warm up, your body and your muscles will be called, meaning you cannot reach certain positions. A very typical example is the overhead press. If I would walk in here without a warm up, my overhead press would probably be like something like that. Now, if I do some stretches, some dynamic uh, stretching exercises, some warm up, out of a sudden my muscle can fully extend and can reach like an overhead position with proper form. So that will be my first tip. I'm going to link like a five minute warm up routine you can do before every single workout, whether it's at home or in the gym, but it's essential, okay? Warm up properly. When it comes to the actual workout, I highly recommend that you do the full range of motion of every single exercise. Now, what does that mean? I already demonstrated it with the bicep curl. Like if you start here and all you do is you go up here and then go back down, this is not full range of motion. This is like not even half range of motion, right? If you go all the way down up here, now we're talking and that's the goal, right? The same for pull-ups, for example. If you do this, you're going to have problems. I guarantee you that. However, if you start from the very bottom and you go all the way up, that's beneficial for flexibility. So do that, keep that in mind. I also like to integrate specific exercises to challenge and increase my mobility. Now, this is a typical example, the increased sumo squat. I'm having the weight here between my legs. I'm going down into a squat position and then as low as I can possibly go. The weight actually helps me to push me down. And now I'm challenging my mobility here, right? If I wouldn't have that without the weight and on the ground, that wouldn't be possible. Keep in mind, when you do such an exercise, it's not about the actual weight. I would do that more of like a warm up let's say three sets, 10 repetitions. And after that, then I do maybe a barbell back squat where I want power and a lot of weight. 
at the end of the workout, this is what I do, stretching. This is probably the part that most people neglect. They do the very last exercise, they leave the gym. And if you wanna keep your flexibility or even increase it, then that's probably not the best way to go. What I recommend you doing is after every single workout, you do a short stretching routine. And again, I'm going to link such a five minute full body stretching routine in the comment section. And the very minimum is that you stretch the body parts that you trained. So if you did arms, then you want to stretch your arms. If you did legs, then you obviously stretch your legs. Now I know this is a little bit controversial. Some people in the space say stretching doesn't necessarily promote muscle growth. It actually hinders muscle growth. I'm just trusting gymnasts there because I look how checked they are. I see how flexible they are and this is what they do. They stretch. So my advice to you, if you want to increase your flexibility, then do a quick stretching routine at the end of your workout. Simple. Now, if this was useful, please do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Maybe send it to a friend who could also benefit from the video. Maybe someone who always says, don't do weight training because it makes you bulky and uh, you're no longer flexible. No, 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 not the case, okay? Send him this video that says, look, not the case. You will not lose your flexibility just because you lift weights. Now, with that being said, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.